Assassination attempt on Donald Trump thwarted by Secret Service. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Earlier this afternoon, Donald Trump was on the fifth hole of the Trump International Golf Course, which was close, but apparently not at Mar-a-Lago in West Palm Beach, Florida. The Secret Service were checking out one hole ahead when two of their agents spotted a rifle barrel sticking through the brush. They engaged the suspect and subsequently discharged firearms in the direction of the suspect. There's no word if the suspect was hit, but he did manage to flee the scene. A witness managed to get a picture of the suspect entering apparently a pickup truck, a Nissan pickup truck, and get a picture of the license plate. That witness forwarded the picture to the police department, who then activated the real-time crime center. The real-time crime center accessed the license plate readers around the area and identified the vehicle heading, I believe it was north on I-95, but I could be wrong about the direction. The vehicle entered an adjacent county and information was relayed to that sheriff department. The sheriff's department located the suspect vehicle, intercepted it, and took one suspect into custody. Initial reports that are not confirmed yet is that the suspect is a 60-year-old Caucasian male. There's no indication if he is speaking with the police, whether he's given a statement or not. At the scene, Secret Service determined that he had an AK-47 style rifle equipped with a scope. That rifle was left at the scene along with a backpack and a couple of ceramic plates normally found in hard body armor. Now, this of course, is initial reports and may prove to be inaccurate at a later time. Also located at the scene was a GoPro that was mounted to a fence. Initial reports are that investigators believe the suspect was planning on live streaming his assassination of the president. When this report initially broke, it was that shots were fired in the vicinity of the president and that two people were shooting at each other. How accurate that is, is debatable because we do know that Secret Service engaged the suspect, but did the suspect engage Secret Service? That is yet to be released. Let's take a look at a press conference that was just released by the West Palm Beach County Sheriff. Hey okay, guys, you ready? Little rules of the road like we always talk about ahead of time. We are going to give you, when I say we, we have a representative from the FBI, from the Secret Service, from the State Attorney's Office, we are going to give you everything we have. Everything. All right? So when we get done, think about your questions, because we're not going to take a lot. And keep them to the information that you heard. Don't get into what ifs, and because of this, we're not going to go there. All right? So keep that in mind, and we'll be good. So here we go. All right. 1.30 this afternoon, call came out, shots fired. That was called in by the Secret Service. Because we're in constant contact with them all the time, we were notified of that, and we had units here that immediately sealed off the area. Fortunately, we were able to locate a witness that came to us and said, hey, I saw the guy running out of the bushes. He jumped into a black Nissan, and I took a picture of the vehicle and the tank which was great. So we had that information. Our real-time crime center put it out to the license plate readers. And we were able to get a hit on that vehicle on I-95 as it was headed into Martin County. We got a hold of Martin County Sheriff's Office, alerted them, and they spotted the vehicle and pulled it over and detained the guy. After that, we took the victim I'm sorry, the witness that witnessed the incident took, flew him up there, and he identified as the person that he saw running out of the bushes that jumped into the car. Now, in the bushes where this guy was is an 8K-47 style rifle with a scope, two backpacks which were hung on the fence that had a ceramic tile in them, and a GoPro, which he was going to take pictures of. So those are being processed right now. The Secret Service agent that was on the course did a fantastic job. What they do is they have an agent that jumps one hole ahead of time to where the president was at. And he was able to spot this rifle barrel sticking out of the fence and immediately engage that individual 
at which time the individual took on. So that's what we know about the investigation. We have somebody in custody right now that is a potential suspect. We got a little bit more work to do on it, but as we usually do, as soon as we decide that we're going to book him into the county jail and the charges that he's going to be booked into, we'll get those to you and we'll get a picture of him and we'll get you his background. So now I'm going to turn it over to the representative of the Secret Service and he's going to make a brief statement. All right, good afternoon, everyone. I first want to thank uh, all of our law enforcement partners to include the uh, Palm Beach Sheriff's Office and the Martin County Sheriff's Office for their involvement today. Uh, former President Donald Trump is safe and unharmed uh, following a protective incident shortly before 2 p.m. on Sunday at Trump International Golf Club at West Palm Beach. Uh, the U.S. Secret Service personnel opened fire on a gunman located near the property line and this matters on their investigation. I'll turn it over to uh, my partners over at the FBI. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeffrey Veltri. I'm the special agent in charge of the FBI's Miami field office. The FBI has assumed the role as the lead federal law enforcement agency in the investigation of the incident that occurred earlier today at Trump International Golf Course here in West Palm Beach, Florida. We've deployed a number of resources, including investigative teams, crisis response team members, bomb technicians, and evidence response team members as well. What we need right now is for the public to avoid the area around the golf course. We will continue to support this investigation with the full resources of the FBI. Alongside our partners with the United States Secret Service and the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office, as well as Martin County Sheriff's Office and state and local law enforcement. I would ask that if anyone has any information that may assist with this investigation, to contact our tip line at 1-800-CALL-FBI or at tips, that's T-I-P-S dot F-B-I dot gov. Thank you. David? I am Dave Ehrenberg, State Attorney for Palm Beach County. I want to thank Sheriff Bradshaw and, and our partners at the local, state, and federal levels. I, I'm here because our prosecutors are currently working up warrants and a motion for pretrial detention for the suspect. Uh, in that way, he will be kept in custody. But our filing of these warrants and charges at the state level does not preclude federal charges that could be coming. But in the meantime, it looks like the, uh, the the warrants and the pretrial detention motion will happen first. And again, I want to thank the cooperation we've had with our federal partners and at the local level. And uh, thank you all for being here today. Okay, we're going to make these pictures available to you. It'll show you a picture of the backpack and the rifle. And there's also a GoPro on the fence there where he was uh, intent on uh, filming what was going on. Even though we're going to have to secure a couple of areas around the, the golf course here, the public doesn't need to panic. We know that we got a post office, a library, and a school down the street. So we'll make it convenient for you to get to all the places you need to go, get your kids to school, get them over here to the post office or wherever else you need to go. It's safe. There's no more danger here, and we'll make it very convenient for you. So having said that, we're going to take a very limited amount of questions and you can direct them to who you want to answer the question. Sure. Did this individual make any statement that he was being detained? No statement right now as far as his involvement in the incident and uh, there was further investigation to be completed. What was his demeanor? Yeah, they, I'm not sure if maybe the service gentleman answered. I misunderstood, but so there was a rifle. So one of your agents saw up on the golf course, saw a rifle pointing to a fence with a chain link from the hill. Okay, so he saw that, the agent? That is correct, yes. And the president or the former president was on the course behind him, how close? It was one or two holes behind. Understood. That, because the bubble moves across, uh, through the uh, golf course. So our agents will get there first, clear it. He noticed that the rifle was pointed out, our agents engaged. Uh, we are not sure right now if the individual was able to take a shot at our agents, uh, but for sure our agents were able to uh, to engage with the, uh, with the soldier. 
I, I, I don't know that. But that appears on. How far away was the president? How far away was Donald Trump when Ms. Johnson was caught and stopped? I got Probably between three and five hundred yards, but with a rifle and a scope like that, that's not a long distance. To the Secret Service, um, how far was your agent from the would-be assailants? That I, I, I'm not, I'm not sure right now. That's we're still looking into. The reports were that four rounds of ammunition were fired. All four of us were your agent. That is correct. Four to six. We're not sure yet. Was there a long distance? Are you explaining why? Yes. Yes. Thank you. And yes, ma'am. Yes, I was wondering what the uh, how this was able to happen, and for future reference, is there any up security in the golf course? I didn't hear all of that. Say that one more time and talk up a little bit. Um, so, how was this able to happen, and for future reference, is there any up security in the golf course? Well, you got to understand the golf course is surrounded by shrubbery. So, so when somebody gets into the shrubbery, they're pretty much out of sight. All right. And at this level that he is at right now, he's not the sitting president. If he was, we would have had this higher golf course around him. Well, because he's not, the security is limited to the areas that the Secret Service deems possible. So I would imagine that the next time he comes at a golf course, there'll probably be a little more, more people around the perimeter. But the Secret Service did exactly what they should have done. They provided exactly what the protection should have been, and their agent did a fantastic job. Which direction was the shrubbery? Where he was? North, south? I guess east, west, or south of the road? The layout of the golf course, you've got three holes, five, six, and seven, right? One of them runs parallel to Summit Boulevard. One of them runs parallel to Congress. And he was in an area in the, shrub in the uh, shrubbery where he could see both holes. So the president was another hole back, which means he's about between four and 500 yards away. So he was on the golf course? Oh, he's on the golf course, yeah, but he's back a ways. For the Secret Service, have you guys changed at all? The way that you guys are protecting former President Donald Trump is now second, potential second cap on him. Can you just elaborate on how things have changed and what you made of all this? Yes, the, the threat level is high. Uh, we have increased the uh, the amount of assets that we've supported, so we are um, we live in danger times. So yes. Okay. Thank you. The uh, oh, we're done with questions right now. There's really nothing more for us to add. I just want to tell you, the Secret Service and the FBI and the State Attorney's Office have been fantastic to work with, and I can tell you right now, our agency with this real time crime center was fabulous. That's how we got the guy. We started out with, we don't know anything, to where we had a tag, we had a vehicle description, and we got an area where we saw the person. How many so be proud, be proud of your law enforcement. All right, thanks folks, we'll get back to you. In my opinion, this is a massive failure on behalf of the Biden administration for not taking the threat to former President Trump seriously enough. As addressed in the press conference, the Secret Service detail that is assigned to protect Donald Trump is not as big as the one that is supporting Biden. However, considering the threat to former President Trump, considering the attempt on his life that he was actually shot only two months ago, you would think that they would have upped his detail at least to the strength of the sitting president. What I find even more disturbing is that even though Robert Francis Kennedy Jr. is still on the ballot in something like 45 states, that they have withdrawn his Secret Service protection completely. Something very suspicious is going on here. I don't know what it is. It's highly unlikely we'll get to the absolute bottom of it. We may find out what this character's motives were because at least he's alive and they can interrogate him. But will we find out exactly what's going on? But that's just my opinion. I'd love to know what you think. Put your comments down below. And while you're at it, please like this video share with your friends and on social media. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Oh, and by the way, in the description of this video, the show notes, if you were, there are lots of links to my social media, including a link to my website where you can sign up for the Canadian Firearm Safety Course if you're on Vancouver Island or plan to be. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.